Hey guys, good morning. It's pretty early here. Uh, I'm sorry for the lighting in this video. The production quality is really going to suck, but I thought this was an important enough of a topic just to go ahead and make the video. So what we're talking about today is Keepa and Helium 10. Which one's better? Why I actually use both of them and uh, which one you should be using if you are first starting out and if you should be using both of them. Uh, before we get into the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and please smash that like button. It really helps me, uh, pushes my videos to the top, gives me more motivation, all that jazz. If you are new to the channel, there's a Facebook group in the link below where you'll have access to a free course teaching all the details They get up to speed uh, on Amazon Wholesale. You can go from zero to $100,000 in sales per month within a year using this course. So don't go out and purchase a course before you at least give this a try. So that's it with the housekeeping details. Let's get right into the video. So here we are on Amazon.com and I went ahead and did a search for Raisin Brand just for the purpose of this video. What you're going to see right away are these numbers right here, which is the Helium 10 data being pulled out of the Amazon listing. This is why I really like Helium 10 and I think you need to have it as a tool in your wholesale business. It just makes it easy to go through and search for products without having to waste your time by clicking in the listings uh, themselves. It gives you sales rank, the number of sellers, if Amazon's a seller, uh, if it's an FBA seller, or if it's a fulfillment by merchant seller. That just gives you an idea of what you're dealing with before you even click in the listing. So that is what I really like about Helium 10. Here we are inside the Kellogg's Raisin Bran listing and we're gonna scroll down and look at the Helium 10 tool. First off, what you're gonna notice is the Helium 10 chart, uh, which I really don't like. It's definitely inferior to Keepa's, but what I really love about the in-listing Helium 10 app is this revenue calculator, which allows me to quickly look and see whether I'll be profitable or not. So if I can get this item for $4.50, I will make $3.49 of profit per unit. Now this does not include shipping costs to Amazon, but that's relatively cheap. You'll just have to bake that in yourself. We scroll down, we're gonna see the Keepa tool here. And this chart gives me so much more information than the Helium 10 chart. If we look at the Helium 10 chart, it's just bare bones. It tells me the sales rank, the new price, doesn't really give me any information on who's winning the buy box. And that is what I don't like about Helium 10. Now, if I come down to Keepa, I can see not only the sales rank, which is this green line, but on the pink line, I can see the price history and who's winning the buy box. So if you look in that pink box right there, you'll see that an FBM seller was winning the buy box until a turd came in and dropped the price. And it looks like that was an FBA seller, which really was not smart because that FBA seller could have actually kept the price the same and they would have dominated the buy box since they are using fulfillment by Amazon services. But they chose to drop the price as we can see here, and now they are gonna dominate the buy box. So if you look on the side here, the information that Keep is gonna tell you, they will tell you if Amazon's a seller, they'll give you the new offer count, the sales rank, it'll tell you third-party FBM seller prices, third-party FBA seller prices, and the buy box price. If we scroll down here, it will tell you the exact amount of time that this listing has been in existence. So let's go ahead and expand here. You're gonna see that Amazon was a seller at one point in time, which is this highlighted area. Once again, something I love about Keepa's chart that Helium 10 does not have. You can also see the new offer count on the listing and how it's fluctuated. You can see the reviews and how they've increased over time. You will use this new offer count tool and a tip that I will teach in this video. You have to watch all the way to the end. It will show you how you can use the new offer count to sell on listings where Amazon is also a seller. So there you have it. Uh, overall, Keepa's chart is 100 times better than Helium 10's chart. You need both tools in order to operate quickly and efficiently and to have all the data that you need to make a buying decision. So my conclusion is you're going to want both Helium 10 and Keepa because they have unique features that the other does not offer. So there you have it. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video all the way through. If you would, go ahead and smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're interested in this content on my channel, subscribe just by clicking the button right above my head. And don't forget to join the Facebook group in the link below where you'll have access to that free course. Thanks again. Have a great day, guys.